Two days of high-speed powerboat and personal watercraft racing is getting ready to begin at the St. Pete Pier and downtown waterfront to get us ready for all the action. Cole McGowan joins us now. Cole, how you doing today? Great, how are you? I am well, thank you. Hey, Cole, tell me what's in the background there because you're at the pier right now, I think, right? Yeah, that's right. I'm out here on Spa Beach by the St. Pete Pier, and uh, behind me, we've got the Visit St. Pete Clearwater ceremonial pace boat for the weekend. So this uh, this pace boat will be out on the water guiding the race boats around around the course and raising the green flag on a, on a great race weekend here. This is so cool. Explain how it is kind of like a double header, if you will, that there are two elements of racing. So people are going to get that speed that they're used to being able to see, but also the personal watercraft, which I think is a cool touch, too. It's like the best of both worlds, right? Absolutely. You know, I think St. Pete locals here are used to, to used to racing and motorsport of all kinds. So I would liken this to IndyCar on the water. So we'll have the big offshore power boats like the ones on the video now, and then we'll have 60 to 80 jet, jet ski competitors as well this weekend on and they'll be racing on a much more tight technical course right in front of the pier and then the big offshore boats will be going 160 miles an hour on a six mile course right in front of the pier as well explain how this race is actually a, a bahamas world championship qualifying race and how there are different divisions in case people want to get down to the nitty-gritty for our jet ski championship you know this their championship is culminating uh, to that race to the Bahamas, uh, where the world finals will take place at the Atlantis uh, in November. And then for these offshore power boats as well, their, their season is, is culminating to a finish here very shortly as well. So St. Pete's going to be a pretty important race for everyone involved. What are some of the tips you have? How can people best experience this? The best way to experience this is out on the St. Pete Pier. Um, it's open to the public. Uh, you know, it's a family friendly event. We want everyone to come down to Bayshore Drive to Vinoy Park where all the boats will be pitted and the jet skis will be out on Spa Beach. Come out, enjoy it. Saturday and Sunday, the racing begins in the morning. And, uh, you know, the best way to experience it is with VIP tickets down on the very end of the pier. But it's, uh, ac you know, open access to everywhere else uh, on the pier as well. So no, no bad way to experience this, really. And I do want to point out, it will be broadcast nationally, of course, but take advantage of this being in the backyard. And speaking of taking advantage of opportunities, talk about this P1 Village, because this is where fans can also get up close and personal, even maybe to drivers. Yeah, absolutely. So we've got the P1 Village, which will be full of vendors and food trucks and activations and experiences for fans of, of every age and, you know, beverages, of course, of all, of all kinds. Uh, and that'll be uh, in Family Park, right under the, the net uh, installation. So you can experience that there and get up and close with the boats and drivers uh, all throughout Bayshore Drive, Vinoy Park, Straw Park, all along there. We, we're just inviting everyone to come out and get hands on and, and uh, you know, experience it for yourself. I think it goes without saying, not many places can hold this kind of sporting event. So we should all take advantage again, September 3rd and 4th this weekend, everybody. There's going to be racing 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Cole, great to check in with you today. Have a wonderful weekend, okay? Thank you so much. Thanks for having us. You Thanks bet. Soon.